Today I am going to work on that table because my dog does all the little feet you hear. I'm gonna work on the table outdoors. If you saw on my palm video, I added this uh, table that I got probably for $20. It was pretty inexpensive. I didn't wanna have to build that because we're building so much more. But I think that I want to dress it up to look more cozy in the kitchen garden area, but also be functional because I do have a dehydrator, but the dehydrator just it takes a long time to cut those herbs and do all that so i want to be able to preserve my herbs but do it a little quicker and i thought hanging the herbs on something will work a lot better so i'm gonna build this free that the frame of it i'm gonna build it all free because i just don't want to pay for having something fancy there and i think it'll add characters my husband's face when he opened the trunk <laughs> all the sticks he's seeing here. <laughs> These are the few sticks our barter. She got quail legs and I got <laughs> sticks. <laughs> okay, so this is the plan. I have some woods that I got from my friend and I gave her quail legs and she gave me the wood pieces. But the plan is that I'm going to take two pieces of wood and I'm going to cross them like this and then tie them right here with a zip tie and then cover that. I may have to let a cross member here to hold it and be steady, but I think it'll work super well. Now, it doesn't matter if the pieces are different, like this has moss and it's probably three quarters of an inch, but it's pretty solid. And this is only half an inch and it gets thicker if it goes down, which is great because it'll be more sturdy where it meets the ground, but it's super solid. So even if it's half an inch and it's really solid, it'll work really well for weathering and all that um, and so that it'll last a little longer but this is the plan i think i will have to add like some cross bracing like below you know going across another piece to make it more stable and then we'll attach it to the table so i'll show you that whole process let's see how it turns out let's go select the piece of wood we're gonna use i have a lot to go through we began everything by building the frame, the A-frame, and just crossing that and tying it with the zip dies. And it did become pretty stable to start with, so I think the zip dies work just great. Okay, we got both ends done. We just put a zip tie here that I'm gonna hide with some of the twine, but it'll look like that. And then I'll put a cross member here and dress it up with some little branches and then I can put hooks and hang the herbs to dry or flowers, it'll be perfect.
this is the main part where it was so helpful to have them do this because I couldn't reach and getting on the ladder with all the different stones was not very stable. So he was able to attach it, just make sure it's fastened really well and tight so that it becomes stable and doesn't wobble around. I went ahead and added the smaller branches to soften the look of it. I want to add more of them, but I ran out, so I have to go back to my friends to get some additional ones. But having just a few even, it really helped to make it look much better. This twine is more with like cotton, I think, it's softer and it was very thin. I did not like it a whole lot. I went ahead and used what I had, but I think I may be ordering more to conceal it and make it a little better. So we're gonna take this little L bracket and put it to hold it to the table like that in there so that it's more stable. So the anchor went on one side here and one on the opposite end on the opposite side so that it keeps the whole thing stable. And I think that makes it it's pretty good. It's not going to go anywhere. I feel pretty confident with the windstorms we have here. So I don't think we're going to add another one on both sides. Just one on each side is enough. I hope this video really inspired you to get going on your garden. If you have enjoyed the video so far and found value, please give it a thumbs up to support the channel. I'm gonna put this box in there on the tops. So I'm gonna do two large ones and maybe three or four of these smaller ones. Let's see how many I can get in there. adding an extra large one here so I have two large ones and then four small ones you can see them right there and then another large one here at the end so I think it works out really good I can hang herbs and hang some of the flowers to dry I got some new twine I think this is a little thicker it may be better so I'm gonna try this on the joints because they look kind of messy and I want it to be a little cleaner so I'll see how I can tie this and how it looks and then I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of the herbs to try to tie them up there and get it all ready to dry because I have to start cleaning up the beds so that I can start planting on them I'm um, probably a few days just from planting I think we have like in the 40s for a few more days and then it's gonna be in I think low 50s at night so I got some frost cover just to be careful with the tomatoes and peppers so we'll see how that works. 
I ended up adding the twine roll that I got to the stick that was there holding the shovel and it worked out so well. I really like this twine so much better. It covered a lot better and blended to the wood color. I think much nicer than the lighter color. Okay, the twine is done. It's not perfect, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to look homemade. It's just covering all the zip tights and it's cleaning it up pretty good. I'm trying to get so I don't make a shadow, but that I think it's pretty good. So we're gonna go with that and go harvest some flowers and herbs right now. I got this little pruners at one of the stores I visited and they work so well. But I am going to start getting all this. Some of these, the slugs are getting it, so but I'll clean it when I get over there. Pretty much gonna cut all this and then I'll decide which, I, which ones I'm going to use. I'll leave some, but I do want to cut a few. make them very thick and try to I'm clearing out the bottom leaves so they don't mold I am so happy on how this has all turned out. It was the perfect location to be in the kitchen garden. I have so many uses from the drying the herbs to journaling to having some tea or dinner and just sitting there and relaxing watching the pond. I really think this is one of the best projects I've done because it was easy, inexpensive, almost free and I think that I will forever use it and I think I will use it more than my other seating area.